Let's do some skincare. Number one, it's been a while. I went through this whole fiasco with my phone where I was fighting with Apple literally every single day. Once it was all sorted out, I was so mentally drained from fighting with them that I just had to take a few days to reset, but I'm back now. Also, I'm wearing a fleece indoors right now because it is freezing. I haven't exfoliated in a while, and I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit hard to see. You can see better when I look straight on. My face is peeling. I'm gonna insert a picture so you can see it better. Lighting makes a huge difference, but there's major peeling going on right now and I need to get this off. CeraVe foaming oil cleanser. Yes, it's back. I ran out of my Skin Fix foaming oil cleanser and I don't have any more. So I'm just gonna wait for the Sephora sale to come up to restock. I always pick one up because I just love that cleanser so much, but I do also really like this one. I haven't used this cleanser in a long time because cleansers are one product that once I'm working on one, I like to just kind of stick to that one as much as possible. I usually use a hydrating cleanser, but if I'm wearing makeup, I do like to use something that leaves my skin feeling a little bit extra clean. So I usually have two going at once. Just lightly gonna get off a little bit of those flakes with my Clean Skin Club clean towel. I have a little bit of a suspicion right now with a skincare product. I feel like they new formula doesn't work so well for my skin after i started using the new formula i did notice that i had a few more breakouts going on right here and also here the only thing i changed right before that happened was using the new formula i have gone through so many bottles of the old formula i had no problem at all but as soon as i switched to the new formula and i used this consistently for about a week i did notice i had a few more breakouts going on right here and right here and there was nothing else i changed in my routine to test that out i did completely stop using this my skin has cleared up quite a bit and I'm actually going to take a risk in a few days and use this again and see how my skin reacts to it. If I get those same breakouts in the same areas, I know it's this and it just doesn't work for me, which is really, really unfortunate because I really love this product. The old formula was so good. This one, I'm not too sure. Kind of feel like it might be that vinegary ethanoic acid that it has going on, but I'm not a chemist. I'm not a dermatologist. I have no idea. Just things I noticed in my skin. I'm keeping it gentle with Apollo's Choice 6% mandalic acid and 2% lactic acid liquid exfoliant. My skin is a little bit more sensitive right now with the colder weather going on. So I'm sticking to this. It is so gentle. I've never had a problem with it. My skin tolerates it so well. There's no burning. What I like about this one is that it also says that it reverses a compromised skin barrier. So even when my skin is a little bit irritated, I feel okay using this because I know it's not gonna be too harsh. Giving this a second to dry down. I got a sample of Kaali Deja Vu White Flower with my order of the Wedding Silk Santal and oh my goodness, I love this so much. First of all, look how rich and deep the color is on this one. Kind of does remind me of Vanilla 28, but it doesn't smell like it. I just feel like it has the same type of vanilla base. But on top of the vanilla base, it has beautiful, creamy, rich white flowers. It's just so gorgeous. Now I'm hunting this down because, of course, it's out of stock right now. Next is I'm from Mugwear Essence. This stuff is just so calming and soothing. I hope they never reformulate it because if they do... I will lose my mind. Something has made its way back into my nighttime routine in the last week. None of you are gonna be shocked. Dr. Syracle Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. I love this stuff so much. It's so hydrating, nourishing, moisturizing. My skin thrives with this stuff in the winter time. I did also use it sometimes in the summer, but I feel like I just notice a bigger difference in the winter because the cold dries out my skin, it gets more irritated, and I can see the effects of this more immediately. Like, look how glowy my skin is. Dr. Syracle. For moisturizer, I'm using the Anua Intense Calming Cream, also a cold weather staple for me. This one is a rich cream, so I prefer to use it at nighttime. Even though it's rich, I like this one because it doesn't feel super thick. It doesn't feel like it just sits on top of my skin. Within like an hour of putting on, it really just feels like my skin is nourished and plumped and just protected. Gonna take some CeraVe Healing Ointment. This is also a cold weather staple for me. Pretty much moving forward, my whole routine is gonna be full of cold weather staples, but I like to use this beside my nose. The tip of my nose gets really dry and the corners right here. So I just put this on to help add like an occlusive layer to help seal in all the moisturizing products I used before. I also take a little bit and put it on my lips. Skincare done. Any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm going to New York on Sunday morning. I'm very excited. There's two things I'm looking for. Number one, the best bagel in New York. And number two, the best slice of pizza in New York. So if you have any suggestions, let me know.